Hey guys, here for another Emphatic Fury War Recap. Um, this was a random uh, matchup uh, on the week. This time we got a, an even match. It's uh, nice to get one of these uh, on the, during the week. Um, Supercell just announced uh, he, they will change the algorithm so the matchmaking will get more fair. Uh, Wars, we hope that will become true. Um, um, you can see the breakdown of this war. Um, basically, Town Hall 11s uh, with dips could uh, get all the Town Hall 10s. We made a rule for our Town Hall 9s on this war. Uh, they will not uh, scout Town Hall 10s, so they will have to clear all the 9s uh, without dips. They cleared all the nines uh, and left one uh, town hall nine, so we just decided to to clear that to win the war. You can see the the results. We got a victory, of course, even without uh, having the the best percentage in global. Uh, but yeah, we got um, 84 uh, stars and we win. Um, we didn't get any 10v10, but our 11v10 game was, uh, was cool. We had uh, an house outcome there, so we cleared all the Town Hall 10s uh, and to start all the um, Town Hall 11s. Really nice work on the 10v11 game. Um, so I'll show you one of those, 10v11, and then I'll show you 6 9v9 uh, hits. Uh, I hope you like the, the replays. Let's take a, a quick look here at, at the in-game stats. You can see 24 to 23, 3 stars. Uh, our guys, uh, you can see the 11s until number 6, we had uh, two deep fails. Uh, and then we had um, some 6 packs uh, on the 9s. We had Da with a great 6 pack there. Also Lama with a, a nice 6 pack and a, and a great war. You will see the um, the 10v11 is is from him too. So great, great hit there. The maps you can see on our side, they left um, only one town hall ten and cleared the the others. Uh, they also needed to hit uh, some of our 11s with uh, their 11s. And on their map you can see all the town 11s with 2 stars and then all the other bases with, uh, with triples. So we will show Lama here with a... this was a, a fresh hit, 69%. You will see he ended up uh, the raid uh, because of the time, because he still had uh, troops up, and uh, if that wasn't there, he could have got even more uh, percentage on this hit. So he started here with uh, some arches and minion uh, to get some free percentage. You can see. It's always good to do it there at the beginning, so you can you won't forget. He sent there a loon to check for uh, seeking air mines uh, to avoid them to hit the, the healers. You see, he is using the max healers from the castle. He, I think, he also tried to. To get the mortar with the, with that wound, but 
actually couldn't get it anyway so he he charges the, this base here you can see it will uh, lose there some time because of the hound cc but uh, actually we need the rage uh, also he sent uh, an archer there to help with the pups He lost some time, but this was a very valuable charge, as you will see. Getting all of these structures here. Also getting the eagle. When you can get that, it's a nice, nice advantage. But you can see he spent a lot of time with this charge. Meanwhile, he started the, the go bow part of the raid using their uh, golem and some wall breakers to open the wall meanwhile archer queen uh, is getting under fire of the inferno he uses uh, another rage there for the archer queen and he sends the the boulders they will probably walk a bit there but Uh, it doesn't matter because uh, what he wanted was to create nice funnel for uh, a wall glide as you can see he had uh, a great uh, button you can see he, he, then he sends the jump and then the vox can go straight and directly to the town hall he still had a, a rage for them so as you can see they get the town hall and they could even get more even the ballers and Dutch queen there at 9 o'clock and then he the time ended so 69 it's a great percentage on the 10 v11 and this was a, a great hit here by one okay we will start the lines here with that the he, he had a, a nice base identification here. He will use a stone gobo lalo, as you can see by the army camp, creating the the funnel first. So golem on one side and wizards behind, sending there an archer and that there another, just to speed up things. Then he sends the, the other golem to set up the nice white funnel. Test wall breaker, no problem there. You can see wizards uh, creating the funnel, very patient. The whole golem skin can take a bit. So he sends the third uh, boulders in BK. He will use the two jumps. We will see this strategy in another raid uh, in a moment. And right now you can see very patient there with the with the rage waiting for the the ballers to get into the core then he, he put the second rage so we can reach the the archer queen and also uh, having access to the low last air defense using all the spells on the on the kill squad, as you can see, Archer Queen had to use the ability, but she will get uh, that air defense there. So the Hound tanking for balloons. The Hound just bought, but uh, he has a lot of wounds, and that that expo was also with a low HP. So. Wizard down here, cleaning the the border of the, the trash. And this was a, a nice hit by them with a nice triple. So moving now to nineteen here for. Lama Town Hall 9 version. He will uh, 
you got a six pack the the, the other way is also a great hit and i show you this uh, taking wall go boho nice uh, a nice thing there with the the wizard getting the vk platform he just waits the, the archer queen to get under fires before the, he sends the, the healers so you can see he uses there the rage uh, will be very useful to deal with the BK and also with the Archer Queen and the CC all at the same time uh, CC Witch so she gets into the poison that's also uh, the main objective with the uh, Witch CC get the witch into the pilot. So he starts here early. The, <coughs> the golem and the lots of wizards to create the funnel down there. Patrick Queen using the ability because he wanted the the, the rage for the the, the golem ballers part. That uh, expo is walkable. It's a uh, base building mistake there. He used here some some wall breakers, but he didn't need it then. Uh, the jump could have gone straight there, but then while the BK was going in with the ballers, raged all those troops. He started the the hogs, so uh, the kill squad could tank a bit for for the hogs. Nice heal there by the the ex ball. Dealing with the Tesla 2 and the giant bombs. You can see he was still healing the, both heroes, they are alive, and the raid uh, was, uh, was done by now. And you can see he had uh, a spell and also some troops that he could use to, to clean, but he, he didn't even need them. So just swag them. Now we got here I bites. that's Joe Black with a great stone hobo with two jumps. He, he had also a, a great base identification here. You can see he will jump by the, the cannon there and then between this with a tower and the air defense and he will get access to almost all of the base. So as usual, side wall golems with the wizards behind to create a nice funnel, as you can see. Uh, CC got locked by the by the golem on the left, but he, he just used the poison, so the, the CC troops will die even before the, the kill squad enters the base. That's also cool. So very patient here to use the um, the rage, he waits for the bowlers to get inside. Second jump towards left, so they will get uh, into the Tesla farm, and he starts the the hawks to deal with it, uh, tanked by the kill squad. This time, you can see, done many defenses were left. He didn't have any more. Uh, spells, but he still had some uh, some hawks. He could have sent some he down here on this archer tower, but they will end up there. Meanwhile, archer queen uh, getting the BK. So great job here by by Joe with a great triple and this base that looks like an alien. <laughs> Okay, now we will have another Stone Gobo Lalo here by Kirk, also a great hit. Stuck there in the corner, oh, it's always good because the that Tesla uh, will be dealt well very hard. Um, sends the Archer Queen on the right side. 
she will probably walk there to the right. <coughs> Meanwhile, the wizard is working on the soldiers on the left. Everything going in. Second jump. And he uses the poison there. Yeah, Archer Queen was sent a bit early, that's why she walked. But the, the remaining of the kill squad will deal with the uh, CC troops. So he sends a bunch of balloons here on the left side. You can see a coach wizard dealing with uh, the expo and the baller dealing with the other. So Archer Queen uh, walking will be nice to get the defenses on the right side while the looms under a heal spell uh, will all get to the, the wizard tower and then we smash it. You can see he also had some some troops there that he didn't use so very dominant right here by Kirk oh, nice job getting the triple and now move to 25 the Abbot with a uh, suicide hero Lalo always nice to see this with a uh, the skill, the skill is spell. Starting here, creating a, an easy funnel with the with that uh, that rage that uh, range is a uh, a lie. Is it was outside the the ring? Well, so BK getting there. Uh, a nice pattern for the Archer Queen, dealing with the, the BK too. Meanwhile, Archer Queen will get a, an air defense, and with the ability, we'll also get uh, some more defensive structures. So, after this, we will start the Lalo part, where you can see spread. Uh, Hounds using their uh, a heal really soon to keep the looms uh, working on the as the farm and the and the expo using the rage so the looms can go and get the sweeper while the skellies deal with the archer queen and the rage too and while the, the remaining Lalo portion working nicely since then the last paste nice pop of the hound there uh, starting early the, the cleanup with the minions he also got one and popped the hound as you can see he still had a, a minion there yeah, this is another corner hat and this was a nice hit, he vibrated. And we will finish this recap here with TC1 with a nice AQ charge. Taking advantage of this uh, corridor here with the wizards. We will get the one air defense with the AQ we walk and the archers being we get the the central air defense on the charge. So he creates a nice funnel there. He will use the the healers right now as the Archer Queen is being targeted by the defenses. He uses their early the Archer Queen ability because he wanted the, the rage to get used uh, after you can see this archer, this air defense getting being taken out by the, the wizards on the Kiwi walk. Archer Queen dealing with the CC and the poison that which will not do much more. You can see nice work there by the, the Kiwi portion of this raid. Wizard doing work, even getting the bomb tower. 
very valuable uh, walk on that side. Knight of Queen now on the X where he starts the wallow portion of the base with a nice pattern now. Knight of Queen getting the the core uh, defense. CC how and more wounds, uh, haste to get everything going fast. You can see he had um, a Skelly, a Max, Max Skelly spell to deal, deal with the uh, Hatcher Queen. You can see Loons under Rage and Haste uh, constantly. Then the, the last uh, Rage for the, the Loons and also the Skelly to get the Hatcher Queen. Backend wounds and some troops to 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 clean. This was a, a great hit here by DC1 as usual. Our guys did really nice on the nine. So this is it for this recap. I hope you have enjoyed the, the replays. Also hope to see you here on the next one. See ya.